Yes. Well, I love that. Love to see you energized. Love to know that your gut's feeling good. Maybe, uh, maybe you could make a little batch and send some to Uncle Gordon. <laughs> for his tummy aches. <laughs> Put I a little, know. do a little logo up. Bulletproof for BJJ broth. <laughs> Thinking of you, Big G. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Bulletproof for BJJ podcast. The magical elixir of life. The secret sauce that is going to help you feel better for everything, including BJJ. What am I talking about? I'm talking about bone broth. Ooh, yes. Now, this is something that's actually talked about and discussed a lot in the health and fitness circles. But you in the you folks out there in the BJJ world, you'd be like, what's this bone broth about? Now, we the reason why I wanted to... I'd be like... Is this infomercial, JT? No, trust. It's amazing. And it's, I'm not selling you anything other than the idea that this is a good idea. So recently, this is why it's come up. Uh, I've, been, I've been messing with bone broths for a while and I love me a great soup. But um, yeah, we started doing it. We started cooking up. And Ola, being the culinary genius that she is, she's like, I'm going to go deep on this. I'm going to get some recipes. The next thing I know, we have f-ing chicken's feet. In, in the fridge. I'm like, what is going on? We got carcasses, organs, and all kinds of stuff. And the next thing you know, we've got these delicious little jars of potent magic and just started putting them away every morning. And it's f- amazing. Talk to me, Joe. Are you a man of the broth? Well, wait, let's, uh, let's, you've said amazing a couple of times. I'm like, oh, that's a bit of a buzzword for a superfood. <laughs> amazing change your life make you look younger um what's the talk to us about the so what's the benefits of bone broth well let's what the f- f- is it what is it what is bone broth so essentially for all of you out there you might already be up on this but if you're not um many cultures around the world have you know going back hundreds thousands of years had soups and uh, mixtures which are basically just bones boiled down to extract the nutrients and then using that to treat colds, treat ailments and just general healthful practices. It doesn't matter if you're in Russia, or you're in Vietnam or wherever you might be in the world. For some of you out there, you might enjoy yourself a pho, uh, a Vietnamese noodle soup, which is predominantly bone or uh, beef bone or chicken bone broth with lots of other delicious elements involved. And Ramen's got a bit of the bone broth a- action going on. It does. Yep. Pretty much every major good soup, if it's cooked from scratch, we're not talking like you get a little stock cube and chuck that in. If you're making stock and you're using vegetables and different animal elements um, for flavor, that's, that's actually where a lot of it comes from. It's like, oh, you get that really nice flavor. In the same way, if someone's making like um, something that might be seafood related, they might use the shells of the prawns or the shells of the the um, sh- shellfish to add flavor, but it also extracts nutrients. Nutrients. Oh, it's so good. Now, why am I bringing this up? Now, for those of you out there, you, if you're up on it, that's cool. But for those of you not, it's actually really simple. And it's something that I feel is not in the general conversation of BJJ. Like I'm not I'm not talking to BJ. Like everyone's like, I mean, I, I, how yeah. good is acai? Well, yeah, I don't think BJJ cats are really talking about food. Period. <laughs> maybe it's you know, there's a coffee joint. Maybe it's like um, I don't know, good beers or whatever. But I don't think food's really coming up in the conversation all that often. No, and it's generally within that realm. It is a little bit cringy at times when you hear people talking like holistic superfoods, yeah. all this kind of because it's just amazing bullshit. But the reason why well, bring- there's it, it, a kernel of truth. It's not that, the, that all of that fluff is like, okay, there's something good about this. The way in which it's delivered is bullshit. Yeah. The, not the key message itself per se. But for example, we started this because we came back from the States and Ola wasn't feeling super well and she actually got sick. And I was like, maybe, you know, what, what if we do, because soup is a huge part of Polish culture. Like soup is always in the culture. And um, I said, what if we just did some broths in the morning just to get things going, you know, whether it be chicken, beef, whatever. And Now, when you say, um, what if we did? When I say we, I mean you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of in the same way. Does she, does she like... She knows. Right. Does she just go, yeah, that sounds good. We should do that, knowing that she's going to cook this shit. <laughs> or is she like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Hang on a second, mate. <laughs> no, when I say no, because it's established. It's well established. Okay, that right. That's the that's the dynamic. Yeah, that when I say we will, what I mean is collectively we will both benefit from you making this soup. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're stuck in bed and you're feeling really unwell, but if you could drag yourself to the kitchen, and <laughs> cook up for five hours. No, she's unstoppable. It, it's one of those things that it's just. It would be the same as, uh, say, your partner, me, saying, hey, Joe, um, you know what? We need these knives sharpened. If we could take care of that, that'd be really good. And you're like, oh, babe, yeah. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty to the point. So I'd be like, yo, if you want me to sharpen the knives, just f***ing ask me, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, don't make out that we're collaborating, all right? <laughs> no, the, the way, I think a, a, in any good, uh, any good, relationship there is thorough understandings of who does what <laughs> it doesn't matter how you talk about it you know and uh, she started flipping it on on me it, she's like if we could unpack the dishwasher you know that kind of <laughs> that, that kind of vibe but um the interesting thing has been that every morning uh i i do the morning routine so i'm up first uh, i will make the teas the coffees and now reheat the broths so I'll just put it into these little nice little jars and you just pop off the lid like it's almost like a little shot. Put it in the microwave 30 seconds and then glug, 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 glug. Ugh, feeling good. And what I have noticed personally is that my energy is just better from first thing like 6 a.m. till lunch. Like it's just the energy, my general energy levels are more consistent. Mm. And it also gives me, it buys me time before the first coffee as well. So usually go, I usually go electrolytes and hydration stuff and then coffee, but factoring in the bone broth, this has been great. You're and still doing the electrolytes pre-broth? Uh, no, I'll go broth, electrolytes, creatine, and then try and wait and then go coffee before I leave. Mm. And it's been good. It's been very good. And what's interesting, and this is why it's come up, many people who do BJJ are clicky, cracky, you know, like yeah, people... Cool. Yeah. Joint sounds. Joint sounds all the time. Ola has noticed her knees are not cracking. She's like, look, she's like, look at this. Look, look, no sound. And I'm like, her, her, her knees generally sound like six-year-old arthritic knees. Like they are, they're creaking worse than a bamboo bridge. Like they're sounding bad. It's been two weeks of broth, no cracks, mm. none. And she keeps like reminding me, she comes up and... I'll just be sitting there and she'll just be working her knee next to me. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, look, no cracking. I'm like, it's really interesting. Now, I can't say it is necessarily directly attributable, but we're not doing anything else different. There's a strong correlation, isn't there? And tell me, Joe, what has been your experience with bone broths? Well, I'm a big fan. Let me, let me say that. It is most definitely within the eat to win lifestyle, uh, talking about broths, Certified. stocks and whatnot. Um, the, I first got into it, I did a gut, like a gut health kind of protocol with a guy, Jeremy Prince is his name, great guy. Um, I can't remember why, I think I just wanted to, you know, you get like your, you send away your poo and okay. then they do, do a test know. on it and they're like, sure. Hey, here's all this shit you got going on. Right. Came back with some stuff like parasites, whatever. Um, at the time I was like, whoa, that seems alarming. These days I don't really give a uh, and I'll talk more on that after, but Fair. but I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, what do you, what do you think we should do? And he goes, I got a full protocol. We're going to do this. It's going to kill this and it's going to restore that, blah, blah, blah. But the thing was, I have to apologize too. I think there's a bit of an echo yes. that I can hear. And it's with because we've created a new room in here. The room's we now have. smaller. Yes, Guys, we will be addressing this echo. This is just an interim setup. Uh, but yeah, if you're hearing that, it's probably a little bit annoying. Bear with us. Um, bone broth every morning on an empty stomach with some, some miso paste in it. And um, that was it. And then I had like some bacteria supplements that I'd take. Um, but I did that, I don't know, maybe for a couple of months and I was like, this is delicious. Like Amazing. it's super nice, right? Um, like, yeah, drinking drinking a cup of bone broth, like especially with the miso paste in there, but, mm. but even just without is awesome. 
So I got really into it then and then I kind of just kept up the habit. I've gone in and out of, of, of habit with it but it's always been there. What I use it for now is I'll make it and then I'll freeze it in like two cup kind of batches and then we'll use it for cooking. Nice. Because we were talking about before, it just like whatever you're cooking, if it requires some kind of like a liquid, like water or stock, you put some broth in there and that dish goes from average to excellent mm. um, just with the addition of this one thing. That one thing takes you a long time to make, right? Like, <laughs> yes. you know, we, we can talk about the preparation of, but but yeah, so that's how I do it now. So when we run out in the freezer, I'll go cook up another big thing of bones and make another batch and that's how it works. Yeah. Today's episode was brought to you by Parry Athletics. They are our preferred apparel sponsor. They've been sponsoring the show for some time now and they do the best gear in the game. They do the best training shorts for the gym or on the mats, and they always have awesome designs for all of their custom rash guards. Now, if you would like to get yourself some para-athletics gear, we can get you 20% off when you use the code BULLETPROOF20. That's right, folks. You get 20% off when you use the code BULLETPROOF20. Get some. You. Well, I mean, let's talk a little bit why. Why is this so good? Like, how it works. So part of the reason why, uh, you know, I clicked onto it i was i actually started drinking bros way back in the day when i was very unwell i'd, I'd overtrained, cooked myself and my digestive system had shut down and so i was having to have chicken broth like pretty much every day as a form of gut rehabilitation because i'd uh the lining of my intestine had gotten very thin the mucus lining of my stomach had gotten very thin uh it stopped producing certain digestive enzymes and basically i could it, put food in my mouth but I wasn't absorbing it I put him in a bad can opener years ago and <laughs> resulted in JT just much, almost dying basically over a period earlier. of six months <laughs> I was dying of being a little bitch <laughs> <laughs> no it was um when I was about 20 years old uh just cutting weight I got glandular fever kept training cutting weight this is for taekwondo and then just basically collapsed my immune system so anyway I started having chicken broth it was amazing. It brought me back. It took about eight, nine months. But it slowly, I was having broth. And then over time, as my gut healed, I was able to eat slightly more complex foods, which wasn't just soups and veggies. Anyway, here's the thing. Collagen, my friends. Now, some of you out there might be messing around with some collagen supplements. Yeah, you know, you like it's, good it's powdered really, collagen. It's been pushed recently as a thing, beef collagen, all kinds of stuff. And there's many people out there being like, oh yeah, my, my elbow's better because I'm having collagen. Maybe. Like the, the research doesn't necessarily show that ingesting collagen di directly equates with it goes You're straight growing to the more joints. collagen. Yeah. But it it's is funny a great that, source of protein. It's funny that just on that point before we go on that, yeah, like the, the science doesn't support that eating the thing equals rebuilding of the thing. Mm. But still, I... I believe it in my mind like i'm like no nah, i think i and and i tell you one of the one so of when the, joey tore out the heart of his enemy and he ate it he said i am stronger i feel my heart getting stronger bro it worked for the cook islanders <laughs> they used to <laughs> true we did a little tour there and after they they'd win a battle they had this huge huge like like it looked like a, a kind of a old swimming pool but they'd put all the people they just defeated into there cook those mother hungry eat bro <laughs> yeah um but the protein's protein folks but i remember a, a guy who is like one of the one of the most staunch like paleo like a rid, og paleo cats that i've ever known he's a madman don't get me wrong but he's got some some wisdom in there and he's all about broth and he's he's just the he's the grain free dairy free he's all on animals organs bunch of vegetables plants you know and he was like, the, and he reckons the, um, the American Indians did this, but he was like, if, you're, if your eyes are bad, eat eyes. If, you're, if your liver's bad, eat liver. If your joints are bad, eat joints. And I've always been like, it's cool, simple. Like it's a very simple philosophy. And I'm like, has to be something in it. Has to be. Maybe. I mean, look, if you believe it, I mean, what the science does show is if you believe it, it is also true. <laughs> it's true, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, power to the uh, placebo effect. But let's talk about collagen real quick because that's the thing. I've looked in the fridge and I was like, there's f chicken's feet in here. What the f with chicken's feet? And actually, chicken legs and feet 
is some of the highest sources of collagen mm. you can get. Like the connective tissues, the bits of the animal that generally are thrown away, like the ears, the Thro nose. Thrown away in the West. In the West, yeah. yeah. The, 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 this is the thing. We, yeah, we, eat, we just want to eat muscle meat. Yeah. Whereas you look at a lot of other food cultures and they eat all sorts of shit. Everything. Yeah. And, it's, and you're like, oh, okay, they're actually getting this diversity of nutrients that we miss out on because we just want chicken breast or thighs or drummies. Well, actually, in Can't, the West. I don't, I don't want this gooey shit that I don't know what it is. <laughs> but actually in the West, we do eat sausages. So we're still eating the, the nostrils and assholes anyway. <laughs> we just don't know it. It's true. It's but all I, pulverized. I, yeah, but I, I mean, there's... There's like there's bits that are discarded and then there's bits that are discarded <laughs> and I'm like I don't know if there's even a lot of gelatin in a cow's asshole. <laughs> I, <laughs> His sausages are very chewy. You know what I mean? It's like maybe some parts do need to be how thrown many, out to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's like these deep fried assholes. Oh, I'll eat the ass so end out of that <laughs> cow. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my elbows feel great. Let's grow. <laughs> so. Collagen. Let's talk about it. So uh, you were just having a look before, Joseph, about cooking collagen and breaking it down. Yeah. So yeah. So collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. There's different proteins, but collagen is the one that forms ba basically your tendons and ligaments for the most part. I think the thing I read on the internet, 25 to 35 percent of your body's protein is collagen. No, I don't know. Yeah, any idea how many different types of protein there are? Uh, yeah, it's like, what? if we go to amino acids, I think there's like 26, 27 different. Okay, so different there's a lot. But, pieces. but yeah, collagen's a huge part of your body. Now, a lot of dudes, listen to this, are probably, they're probably their first exposure to collagen is when you drive past or you drop your missus off at like a beauty clinic and it's and like collagen injections. injections. Yeah, yeah and, and so here's the deal. Collagen's super abundant. Um, it's what, it's what makes your skin youthful. Plump. Right? Yeah, that's right. Like when you're young, you have greater stores of collagen. That's what keeps the skin tight and, and smooth. As you get older, the shit, you know, you just produce less of it. Yep. Aging. Um, but also if you play a sport where the goal is to try and tear the collagen of your opponent, i.e. rip their elbow tendons to shreds, makes sense that like, you know, we don't want to get the injections in our face. It's not really going to help. But, <laughs> but drinking the shit or eating it's going to help. They're like, babe, could you get me a book in at the beauty salon? Can yeah. I get some f***ing injections in Just this put it right in there. That's right where it hurts. Yeah. How about my f***ing kneecaps? Could I get That'd a collagen injection actually in be interesting to try. It but then if you boil collagen down, oh, sorry, if you cook it, it becomes gelatin. Gelatin. And people would know gelatin because if you've ever eaten jelly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jello. jelly, marshmallows. Yep. Yep, that's Lollies, too... Like, like bunch of, like heaps of like different... Um, Snakes, gummy lollies feature gelatin. Ah, so they do. Yeah. So there you go. Way. You're eating um, you're eating fucking animal tendons when you pump snakes and shit. There you go. Be interesting to know what the what the gelatin content actually is like. And also yogurt. There's lots of yogurts out there. If you get like a, a low fat yogurt, but it still seems thick and creamy, they use renin, which is like an enzyme from sheep's guts, sheep intestines. Oh yeah. And they also use uh, gelatin. Oh, how about that? To make it more gelatinous. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it gives that amazing texture. Yeah. I mean, that's how you know the quality of your broth, isn't it? When yeah. it when after you've put it in the fridge, it, goes, it comes out and it's like jelly. You're like, this is the good shit. Yeah. If it comes out and it's still a bowl of water, you fucked up somewhere yeah. along the cooking process. That's that's pretty true. So there's so many nutrients in there, guys. Not just collagen. You're getting heaps of minerals. And that's the great thing about um, the cooking up of the bones. Now, you might be thinking, F sounds like a lot of work. I don't know if I can... I can be bothered with that. So what I wanted to talk about here is we could go two ways with it. We can do the cook it from scratch approach or we can do the, you can literally go down the supermarket. We were, I was just saying this to Joe before the show. You can go down to your regular supermarket and they have little jars of bone broth like um, concentrate and you can just get a spoon of that, like teaspoon, put it in a cup, pour boiling water in there like a cup of tea and just drink it. Giddy up. Mate. Cow's assholes for breakfast. Oh, it's that f***ing goods. Um, and the thing about that is you don't have to think about it. It doesn't actually require slow cooking for hours. You can literally go to a supermarket or a health food store or wherever. And it depends on what you're into. If you're more of a chicken soup kind of human, you can go with that. Or you can get a beef one. I've even seen like a lamb's one. And it's, it's actually delicious. It's well seasoned. You just... Hot water? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. But the thing is, it does cost money because there's lots of good ingredients in there. 
yeah, it's pricey um, as a thing to buy like that. And, and, and you've got to imagine when you're making it yourself, probably the nutrient density is a lot higher, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's kind of like cocaine, right? It's like they import... <laughs> so when you're at home they and you're making cocaine... They import the shit from Colombia, but then it gets stepped <laughs> gets on about cut. 16 times before it arrives on Australian shores naturally. And then some <laughs> in your local area gets it from a bloke. He's stepped on it a bunch. And then he gets it and he's like, well, I, I've just bought like whatever, 50 grams here. But if I just pour a bunch of baking soda and I can make 100 grams. So he pours a bunch of baking soda into it and then doubles his stash... So then by the time you actually get the shit, there's like 2% Coke in there. <laughs> now, I just came back from CJI. <laughs> now, same, just, shit, same shit if you're, if you're Campbell's and you're like, our new product's going to be beef broth, right? And then sure. they're like, we've got this lovely gelatinous mix here. Well, let's just pour a thousand liters of water under that and passion it out. I, I'm, not, I'm not advocating for this. I, for any of those out there uh, who want to get more inside tips on how to start your drug empire, contact <laughs> Joey at Joey Tony Montana uh, on Instagram. <laughs> do you find you get thirsty at training? I do. I do all the time. I'm a sweaty human and I need to hydrate. Now, the biggest problem is by the time you're thirsty, it's a little bit late. You need to hydrate. And that's why we got Sodi. Sodi is sponsoring the show. We've got all the colors of the rainbow. Great flavors here. We've got salty citrus, salty pineapple, salty berry, and my favorite, salty grapefruit. And they will be releasing two new mystery flavors soon. So why do we need this? It's going to prevent our muscle cramps. It's going to help our energy delivery. And it's also going to mean you're less tired, which is an advantage when you're training. If you want to maximize your jiu-jitsu and feel good when you're rolling, you need to get SODI. And when you purchase, enter the code Bulletproof20 at checkout for 20% off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but what I was going to say is there are some reputable brands. So you're not going to buy sure. some, some <laughs> Campbell's Soup bullshit. You're actually going to go and find something that will actually list what is in the product itself. Yeah, especially it's often the jar ones or the big um, like sachet, like the big the plastic bag. pouch. Yeah. Yeah, and you can feel it. You're like, that's, that's jelly as fuck. That's the one I want. Yeah, that's got the bones in it. But if you are someone who is inclined to make your own thing, it's actually relatively simple. So a very simple formula that I use to... To, to tell the, Ola how to cook it. No, 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 no. <laughs> shit, I can't. No, I'm not getting away with that. So you cook it? No, no, I, I have cooked it. Not recently. Okay. But I have witnessed all the ingredients of the recent one for the... Um, now, I'm someone who I like to keep things separate. I like chicken separate from beef. I'm not like a mixed kebab kind of guy. I don't fuck with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where some people are like, nah, whatever. Get the mixed. Oh, I'll have chicken and beef together. Surprised that you're not that guy, but yeah. No, I, but when Ola, Ola was like, oh, I used chicken's feet and I used also buku and I also used, I was like, what? You're combining chicken and beef? You heretic? Glug, 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 glug. And it was amazing. I think and, you could do better next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> But um, very simple way to approach, say, chicken. Very easy. If you're someone out there and you're like, how do I get started in this shit? It's actually not that hard. Literally buy a barbecue chicken, like a cooked barbecue chicken. So you're not actually cooking the chicken. Put that in the pot, big ass pot. Put it in there, bit of oil, cut up onions. Let that cook. Let it break down a little bit. Once the onions are gone brown, then you're just adding a liter and a half of water and then a bunch of chopped vegetables, like whatever you like, celery, carrots, beans, you name it. You just basically make a soup and you just put the lid on that, turn that down, leave it there for fucking ever. Now, for those of you out there who have a slow cooker, some of you do, it's actually super easy because you don't have to think about it. You're not going to burn the house down. But generally, you can leave it on there for, say, an hour, a little bit more on a very low temp, Come back and then pull the chicken out. Like what's left of the chicken, generally the meat will fall off, the skin will fall off because it's already cooked, which saves time. Pull the bones out, let it cook some more, and then just keep that on the side. Then you, this is up to you, you basically filter all the meat and all the veggies so you've just got the soup, just the sauce, just the liquid. Now, some people take the fat off. I don't. I, I, I love the fat. That's me. But then what you do is you put the bones back in. So you, you've got the soup. You've extricated all the veggies, all the meat. You can put that back in for taste if you want. Put the bones back in and then let that cook 
for another half an hour, hour on a very low temperature. People who don't like fats, you let it cool and you can skim the fat off the top because it goes solid. Mm. Me, I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. Get the fat in there. Scoop it all out, chuck it in some jars, chuck it in the So fridge. you're eating the chicken and the vegetables and all of it together? Yeah, but I, well, I'm talking if you're just going for the broth, <clears throat> separate the chicken, separate right. the veggies, but then put the bones back in for the second cook. Right. And let yep. them cook down more, then take them out, and then you've got broth delicious. Mm. And it's just super simple, guys. It's just there, put it in the microwave, 30 seconds, gulp it down, fucking magic. Um, I got an, I got a fucking uh, a handy kitchen tip on that one, please. So what I do is whenever we eat chicken, like any kind of chicken with bones, whole chickens or drumsticks, whatever at home, I take all the bones that are discarded after the meal, put them in the freezer, and once I've filled up two or uh, one or two big Tupperware containers full of old bones, I bring those out just frozen, throw them into a roasting tray, chuck that in the oven, brown them. Oh. And then throw all of those bones, it's a fuckload of bones, into the pressure cooker, cover it with water, and then I pressure cook that for like 20 minutes. Mm. And then I usually put it on a slow cook for 12 hours. Pressure then, cook's amazing. Yeah, and it's just, it's a sick way because um, you get, because you've got so many bones, yep. you end up with a super rich mix, mm. you know, like super jelly. Yeah, I start, and look, looking at what Ola has been doing recently of combining say like beef bone with also chicken legs, like literally chicken's feet. Um, it, it gives you the super jelly because you're getting bone yeah. marrow from the beef bone as well as the, the, um, the, the collagen from the chicken's feet. And basically she did the research and she's like some of the highest concentrations of collagen are in these damn feet. Mm. Even though it feels super primitive, I'm like, well, we do kill animals every day if we eat them. It can be a little bit confronting. I mean, you're happy to eat the nose and an asshole, why not a foot, right? Yeah, exactly. Get it, just get in there. And yeah. You can pick your teeth with the claws at the end. Oh, it's nice. No, so... <clears throat> Chicken feet at uh, Yamcha. Oh, yeah? You a fan? You had those? Uh, I haven't, actually. Oh, it's sensational. Oh. Like, in this fucking sweet, delicious sauce. Wow. Yeah, they're so good. And like, why are we selling this so hard? Because... We've released a new Bulletproof of BJJ bone broth. <laughs> buy it now. Made by JT. <laughs> by <laughs> we have made. <laughs> by we, I mean Ola is working 24-7 pumping it out. Um, actually, the cheat mode that we have is we have a slow, fast cooker. So we have a pressure cooker, which is also a slow cooker. Got one of those too. Bro. They're good. You know, you don't have to take 12 hours with that motherfucker. You can just basically turbo it. And it's pressure cooking and slow cooking and it gets it done in about two hours. So it'll switch between the two automatically? Yeah. Oh, you that's can pretty good. program dope. it. Oh my God. It's amazing. Anyway, that's a bit, it's a bit out there if you're not into that. But let's talk about this. I actually think there's two excellent times. I mean, you can have it any time of the day as a snack, whatever you like. I'm liking first thing in the morning and I'm also liking it pre-meal, which is probably a little bit of a cultural orientation from, from Ola because the soup prior to the meal is, is a thing in many cultures. So either it's, it's before the fucking dinner, digestive juices flowing. It gets it going and it's, it, it feels good. Um, I don't know if you ever had an experience where you... Cats are like, bro, I'm eating a fucking microwave steak for dinner. Right? I don't have <laughs> time to do a soup before. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to fucking... I got a chocolate milk in one hand. I got a sausage roll in the other. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking get my taxes done on the back of my ute cunt. Shut up. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. But I'm trying to give you the easy formula because if you can't cook it yourself, you can go get it. All you need to do is just have it in the fridge in the same way you might have any other number of things in the fridge like sauce or mayonnaise. Chuck it in a mug, heat it up. Bob's your fucking uncle. It's mm. actually super easy and it tastes good. Here's the thing about most healthy things. It tastes like shit. Most healthy things you are like, oh, this tastes healthy. You know, it's never like, oh, that's so delicious, right? I don't know. I feel like it did when I was a kid, but these days, I no, I think stuff is often quite nice. No, I think we've been, we have been brainwashed and indoctrinated by so many uh, flavors and 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 additives and many things that when you eat something that's genuinely healthy, you're like, oh, it's very plain, or it's oh, that's it's a bit sour, it's a bit bitter. Like often, what is good for you isn't ne unless you're trained or you're brought up on it. 
your palate isn't attuned to eat necessarily finding healthy things pleasurable. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not, right? But the thing about broth, mate, it's delicious. You have it, you're like, oh, it's tasty. And if you're not someone who fucks with soups, you just think of it like, oh, I'm having a cup of tea or I'm having a cup of coffee. And you just drink it out your mug and you're like, oh, it's pretty good. And the sensation I get is I feel like I have a happy tummy. Mm. That's the vibe. I drink it, I sit there and I think, that feels fucking good. I feel good. I feel good about myself. I'm a fucking saint. I'm a fucking genius. God, I'm great. Fuck, I'm going to go... I'm going to go unleash good on the world. I'm going to make a podcast about this shit. That's what it makes everyone. me do. Yeah. You know, I got to, I got to, um, uh, do you know if I'll add salt when making it? Yes. Okay. So Molded. I was going to say, yeah, make sure it's salted. Oh yeah. It's, it's fine to drink unsalted, but definitely tastes a lot better if it's just fucking, mine's usually not. So when I have the cup of oh, it, then okay. I fucking decent oh, pinch. Okay. And, yeah. 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 No, 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 I think, you know, season to taste, whatever you're into, but, uh, so for me, first thing in the morning or pre probably dinner, pre meal, evening. And it's, it's just, you don't have to have a lot, just have a little bit. I believe if you factor this in, not only will your stomach be happy, but the joints will be happier. Everything will feel better in general. The reason why I say this is, for example, say I have coffee on an empty stomach. The vibes are not good. They're energetic, but I get the like kind of the little... Doesn't feel highly nourishing. Oh God, it, the acidity. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, am I burning a hole in my fucking stomach lining right now? <laughs> like, oh. Shut up and move forward, JT. <laughs> Just keep yeah. going. <laughs> like, it, but you know, like, oh, stomach is seizing. It's not a good vibe, right? Yeah. Broth is the absolute opposite of that. Yeah, you feel great. It's a great fucking thing. And so that's why I wanted to speak on this. Well, I love that. Love to see you energized. Love to know that your gut's feeling good. Maybe, uh, maybe you could make a little batch and send some to Uncle Gordon. <laughs> for his tummy aches? <laughs> Put I a little, know. do a little logo up, bulletproof for BJJ broth, thinking of you, Big G. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I mean, if he would, if he would have it, I'll, I'll be happy to send it to him. Uh, I just, yeah, I just don't know if he's going to be very receptive. It might be too All we can do is try. That's right. There it is, folks. Bone broth, get it into you. We know you're going to like it.